Hi, uh, if you're looking for a quality UV exposure unit uh, yet at affordable price then take a look at the brand new UV Ultra Mark III. This is a compact tabletop UV exposure unit uh, which can be used to expose uh, various kinds of materials. Uh, for example with this UV exposure unit you can create your own hot foil polymer plates uh, your own pad printing cliches, uh, plates for letterpress, uh, sandblasting stencils, glass etching stencils, uh, PCBs, rubber stamps, solar plates and even moulds for metal clay jewellery. Okay, let's quickly see how the system works. Um, at the back of the machine there's an on off switch, so let me just switch that on and you will see LED display light up. Now let me just open these two latches here. They help to keep the lid down and also keep the artwork and the printing plate compressed together during exposure time. So let me uh, lift this lid up and you can see uh, six UV lamps there. Now just as an example this is how the system works. You create your artwork on your computer. Um, here is a transparency film I've created some artwork uh, for a pad printing plate. And normally I'd place the artwork there and I would get my uh, pad printing blank plate out, peel off the protective cover and cover the artwork. So essentially what will happen now is as the UV light shines through the artwork it will obviously harden the areas which aren't blocked out by the artwork so in other words the UV light will harden the polymer where there's no artwork where there is artwork the UV light can't penetrate through that and that leaves the polymer soft so when you come to um, you know washing your polymer um, using a scrubbing brush like this under warm water uh, it will etch out um, your design. Again I'll show you a printing plate that we previously made with this. Uh, so artwork down, plate on top and let's say for argument's sake you know so don't bore you with uh, you know a couple of minutes exposure time but let's say we want exposure in this case of let's say uh, let's say 20 seconds uh, this little green light flashes on and off. Lock the lid. Um, so now by locking this lid down the artwork and the place can press together. Now the green light's gone off I can start the exposure by pressing the start stop button. Um, let me press that. Now obviously you're not supposed to look at UV light but briefly I'm just going to show you uh, what's happening. Can you see the UV light? Um, that's now exposing the artwork to the printing plate and once we get to zero it'll automatically cut out and the UV light will go off. And there you go. Lift this and as you can see the UV light has now, the lamps are off now. So what normally happens is uh, if you expose for a sufficient time then you can normally see a kind of an image or an imprint on the plate and then as I said earlier you go to um, you know put this plate under warm water and scrub it in a circular motion and what will happen is your design will wash out. Now I'm just going to show you a printing plate I've made previously and that was a blank plate and this is uh, the S plate. So as you can see from artwork, uh, there's the etching. It's a fairly shallow etch for pad printing, but you know if you run your finger, you can actually feel the design there. So that's essentially how exposure is carried out on this uh, UV exposure unit. So whether you're making, uh, you know, uh, hot fold plates, um, polymer hot fold plates, um, you can do that on this system rubber stamps, uh, you know, letterpress plates, stencils, they all have different exposure times. 
and obviously the products which we sell we will gladly give you uh, the exposure times, in other words how long you need to expose UV light to the printing plate and the artwork to get uh, you know, a satisfactory plate. So yep, as I said the process is fairly simple, on or switch, plus or minus, how many seconds you want to expose for, start and when it gets to zero it cuts out. Now another brilliant feature of this machine or the UV exposure unit I should say is it has a post exposure drawer on the side which is this. Now a post exposure drawer is important for sometimes we use a second exposure you know once we've scrubbed the plate we've cleaned the plate uh, we've dried the plate and then you need to place it back in a drawer and expose it to UV light. Now this is different to exposing it on the glass this time purely because for a final exposure uh, we mustn't have glass in the way because the glass can restrict the UV light uh, reaching the plate fully. It's okay for the first exposure and maybe even second exposure but for the final exposure or final hardness uh, the UV light uh, you know, must reach the printing plate without any obstruction from the glass. So this, this uh, post exposure tray is never really found on any other systems and they rely you basically placing the plate back onto the glass and so on and so forth. It's not ideal, uh, you, you do need uh, exposure to the plate without any obstructions in the way and uh, you know we feel and uh, this is a great little feature you know on this uh, UV exposure system. Um, so once you expose your plate switch it off from the back again if I just turn this around maybe you can see an off switch there and if I just switch it off from there and that's it. This is the UV Ultima 3 it's available at a highly affordable price very easy to use uh, it's made from industrial grade steel it's a modern design. It has a digital timer from 0 to 999 seconds. Uh, that's it at 999 seconds. Now this is important because some of the you know exposure units have analog timers. In other words, you turn a dial and it's sort of you know you can adjust by the minute. So you know it might be one minute, two minutes, three minutes, and so on. The problem with that is you cannot get a precise exposure times. So if something needs to be exposed for 2 minutes and 30 seconds it's very difficult to do this on an analog timer. So for this reason uh, LED timer, digital timer is absolute must. Um, but basically uh, it's a fairly light machine, 5 kilograms, less than 5 kilograms. You know you can easily sit alongside your printing machine onto a small tabletop. It doesn't take a lot of space. And the lamps are easy to replace should you ever need any. They cost a few pounds, so you know it makes it very, very affordable. Um, you can obviously check out further details about this uh, uh, amazing exposure unit on our website. Uh, the address will follow uh, once this video is finished. Uh, if you have any queries, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.